Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading. This is going to be a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, going out, going on for the beautiful Scorpio Collective. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are in a very happy place, feeling very healthy, mind, body, and soul, strong. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. And uh, I just wanted to delve into these readings. And um, I do welcome anyone that may be new. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. You could have been anywhere, but you are here right here with your girl. I am Q. My name is Q. I am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I'm also clear audience. So you will hear me referencing music, listening to music throughout the reading. And the way that it works is the songs uh, that are playing, whether the lyrics in the songs, name of the song, name of the artist, even the timestamp of a song will correlate to what I am channeling intuitively. I am also empathic as well. Uh, and everything just kind of blends very beautifully. That's how I do things on my side of the planet here. Uh, my readings are general, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sunshine, so check your other placements. Check your moon, your Mars, your Mercury, your Venus. Check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Uh, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing intended for you to do so. So we are going to delve deep. I will not be providing a sound bath today because I'm in a completely different room and everything that I need is in the other room and I don't really feel like getting up <laughs> and going and getting it. I'm lazy, all right? But uh, we're just going to proceed with the read. Uh, before we delve any deeper, I would like to do some house cleaning. So I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mo it be. Ashe, 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 beloved. So we're going to go ahead, like I said, proceed with the read. Take a peek, peek. See what's coming in, going out, going on. I like to start off with my numerology deck. Let's take a peek and see what's playing on the playlist. It is currently 450 on the clock so 450 breaks down to nine so I hear a lot of change is coming some changes some positive changes perhaps um, and look at that we got the eight manifestation here on the bottom of the deck so something you've been manifesting and we have Wu-Tang Clan it says triumph so you all are going to have a very triumphant uh, you know movement forward something is triumphantly working out for you let me turn this down so I don't get a strike but um so yes Wu-Tang Clan triumphant or triumph is playing right now uh, and with this manifestation I feel like you have learned to set your intentions you have embodied that magi that alchemist you have absolutely channeled your energy to manifest your desired outcomes i feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment that's coming in i feel like this is almost like i'm hearing a karmic do so you are karmically being repaid rewarded uh recognized for something um and this is like some sort of wish fulfillment because i see this eight which is telling me like infinite supplies um you maintaining your strength your courage, your wise dome is how you've been able to obtain this manifestation of whatever this is, whether it's love. With that being nine, 450 on the clock, nine represents the hermit. So I feel like you took the necessary time to, to pause, to go within, uh, to self-reflect, to do some internal work, um, to even 
become more self-aware and you listen to spirit 444 on the clock when i said that so your angels and your ancestors are telling you that something is absolutely coming into fruition you've reached a level of self-mastery i feel like there's something that you are anticipating because you've manifested because i was getting like the three from that 444 it breaks down to 12 so i was getting like the three and the three is giving me like the three of wands. So it's like you've set your intention and now you're just kind of waiting for whatever it is you've been um, you've been, um, you know, calling in. So there's like you, the, the anticipation is there. And I feel it's a very positive, positive outcome. So this is beautiful. On the split, we have 61 self-love. So just as I've said, you've learned some karmic lessons. And I feel like you've learned to love yourselves. Um, the 61 is 7 and the 8 is that reduces to 15 which is six so something that has occurred in the past has brought you to this place where you were really um analyzing because that 9 450 was telling me you were in some sort of hermit mode and the hermit is really isolated he's external he removes himself from all the external noises from all of the distractions so that he could go within because he knows the answers he seeks are found within so that's why i was getting like the hermit that nine energy from the 450 and so through you doing that internal work there's been some sort of discovery of the self and you've learned to love you You've learned to take the time out to prioritize you. This has also taught you to establish boundaries, to to be guarded in a sense, to protect yourself, protect your space, protect your energy, protect your peace. And through you doing that, you've also learned, um, you know, that your 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 um, that your how do I want to say this? So through doing this, you've learned how to channel, how to co-create with source to manifest what you wanted. Because perhaps maybe something in your past that you had put a lot of time and energy into, um, it didn't materialize or manifest in the way that you wanted. I'm getting like the seven of pentacles. But all of that hard work is still going to pay off. And you will still be triumphant through the seeds that you've sown in good faith. So this is a beautiful, beautiful way to open up the reading. So beautiful spirit, let me get a message from my beautiful Scorpios. May have a message of love and a message of light. I feel you also may have someone from your past that could be returning. Because uh, I was getting the six with that seven one, which was the eight. And then the, I mean the um, 61, which was the seven and that eight manifestation. That breaks down to 15, that's six. So this could be like, you know, the six is the lovers. The six is also the six of cups is what I'm thinking. So this could be something or someone from your past that you're familiar with. Maybe a past life love could be entering into your life. Um, when you meet this person, there will be synergy. There will be chemistry. There will be familiarity, similarity. There will be something that is like there's a likeness um, and this will make you feel like all bubbly inside like you'll feel the feels you know what I'm talking about so on the bottom of the deck we have forgiveness and I was just saying that um, someone from your past and then this 96 breaks down to 15 that's six so this could be someone that you are familiar with like I said someone from your past that you may have you know being that you were in hermit mode there wasn't much communication there wasn't much interaction um, and so maybe someone is returning with the intent to ask for your forgiveness um, I feel like spirit wants you to be very compassionate it isn't about holding um, any resentment or animosity towards anyone but also don't just um, accept anyone back that returns um, you got to check for the signs you got to check to see if there's change behavior um, you could forgive genuine apologies there's nothing wrong with that uh but there is someone that is coming back that is coming uh returning i feel with 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 a heavy heart i'm hearing heavy heart in my mind's eye um and perhaps they've learned something from watching you have some sort of triumphant uh, new beginning, you know, without them, uh, maybe this is that person that you felt like you put so much time, energy into, and now they're watching you kind of soar. They're watching you transform and emerge as someone very successful, um, just very persistent towards your goals, towards your peace, your happiness. So let's see what came out as the bonus messages. So we have 61 self-love. 
So this is how you have been um, triumphant in this journey is through learning to love yourselves. Um, love is an inside job. So you taking the time out to heal thyself is now, you know, the reason why you're loving yourselves. And when you love yourselves, you know yourselves, you know what you're deserving of, you know your worth, you know your value, you know what you bring to the table. And maybe in the past, you were giving, 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 you know, uh, seven coins is a lot to put towards a relationship. You know, a lot of people say, oh, 50, 50, I just saw 10, 10 on the clock. So that's what ended a relationship was you overcome compromising, overcompensating, um, overextending yourself. And someone may have taken that for granted. They may have taken your kindness for weakness. They may have taken you for boo boo foo and you just wasn't having it anymore. Um, we have right now the temptations and this is called, I know I'm losing you. So what did I say? Someone's returning and they really want your forgiveness. So this is the temptations and let me show you the name of the song because come on what is happening i'm touching buttons that isn't um there it is okay all right so it says i know i'm losing you by the temptation so someone could have got tempted by someone um in the past you know and i feel like you walking away um, and uh, creating these boundaries and really establishing. And I see 11-11. So you may have uh, a twin flame union where there was runner chaser type of dynamic. But I feel with I'm losing you, someone is coming into this realization now because you are establishing boundaries. This 61 is giving me like the seven of wands. It was also giving me the seven of pentacles because I felt like you was just giving so much to a connection and it wasn't being reciprocated, nor was it being appreciated. And so what you did was you said, okay, I am going to take all of this love that I was giving so freely and I'm going to retain it for myself. And not only did you do that, but you also established boundaries because you realized that it wasn't appreciated. It wasn't valued. And what you learned was you have to love you. So walking away from a situation or creating boundaries is a sign and a show of self-love. And that's one of the main lessons that I feel you all had to learn. That was a part of your personal growth. That was a part of bringing you into spiritual alignment, you know, where you started to see yourself um, as that, that, that worthy, um, person and I saw so many synchronicities just now I saw 12 12 I saw 11 56 which was 11 11 again so we have 88 abundance so now this is why you have blessings coming in you got blessings upon blessings someone that is a wish fulfillment is coming in but I also feel like you have this emotional fulfillment this satisfaction this joy I feel like spirit is blessing you rewarding you with miracles with answered prayers because of the hard work that you've done it's not easy to recognize or to to come to the realization that you were kind of like self-sabotaging and instead of playing victim or instead of you know the negative self-talk or any of that I feel like you literally just started to do the work you started to hone in on those areas that you needed to work on and in doing so this has brought you to a place where you are feeling very um self-sufficient now so much so that you're you know protecting your energy protecting your peace 13 13 on the clock that's four four that's eight so this is double eights whenever i see double numbers i always feel like that's you and the person that you are attracting mirroring one another's energy eight is the number of karma it's also the number associated with the strength card so i do feel like you really started to um you know brave your light stand in your power um you didn't back down from the challenges that were being presented to you by spirit and I feel like that's why there is you know abundance here for you there's blossoming abundance there's blessings uh, we saw triumph playing by uh, Wu-Tang Clan so I do feel like you are having some sort of triumphant um, outcome and I feel like when you have this outcome, it will ultimately become a new beginning. Uh, this may be with a twin flame or soulmate because I saw so many 11, 11s. But someone is going to be feeling left out in the cold, left behind. Uh, someone that wants your forgiveness. Because with I'm losing you, I know I'm losing you. This is someone that really is starting to see where they may have um, been self-deceiving. Or they may have uh, you know, really been conflicted. And it has cost them you. So with this. This seven and this eight eight um, 
what is that? That's seven because eight and eight is seven. So seven represents the chariot. So I feel like there's something coming in very quickly, um, very assertively, um, very confidently. I feel like there's a blessing. Someone is that sees you as a wish fulfillment and maybe you see them. You all could be mirrored reflections of one another because as I said with double numbers, I always feel like that's you and your divine counterpart uh, mirroring one another's energy. So with this seven and seven, that's 14 that breaks down to five someone's been learning someone has been learning something as well five is the hierophant and the hierophant is really about self-mastery or self-improvement growing learning um taking the time out to um be be in that studious energy um you know where you're 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 honing your skills mastering your craft maybe discovering what your life purpose path mission is uh but there is this energy of even potential marriage in your future with someone that does feel beholden to you they feel very much um like you are their divine counterpart you are that wish fulfillment i feel there was a lot of conflict in the past whoever this is they're mentally conflicted uh, especially uh, because they know whatever they did, it was their, it was by fault of their actions. Um, because this is someone that now has regrets, remorse. I'm getting with the five. Um, I'm also getting like the five of cups. I'm getting like someone feels left out in the cold. I'm getting that someone is really mentally conflicted, you know, agonizing, ruminating, ruminating over this. Someone that's not communicating with you and you them. And they're desiring to do so, uh, perhaps wanting to apologize, wanting to come in and, and set the record straight. So these are your bonus messages um, for the overall energy. And spirit chose those for you. So let's put that there and do it like that. So let me just give the cards a bang, bang, boogie. My nose is already starting to it. So divine spirit of love and light. What's coming in for our beautiful Scorpios may have a message of love and a message of light spirit. So someone was definitely tempted, and I'm hearing tempted by the devil, tempted by, you know, some sort of, you know, charlatan, incubus, succubus type of energy, an energy vampire, and a leech, a parasite. Someone had a spiritually transmitted disease. I'm hearing Tony, 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 just me and you on is playing, and I see this uh, 74, um, and this says nature. So someone was acting out of uh, character. Someone could also be under, you know, some sort of control by a high priestess. 1717 17 on the clock, that's 8 8. So someone is being deceived because I'm getting the seven of uh, swords. So I, I was hearing that someone was dealing with someone that was a little janky, you know, and then this 47. Um, came out, I mean the 74, pardon me, and that breaks down to 11, which breaks down to 2. So 2 is the high priestess, and the high priestess is really like, you know, she could be very cunning, she's, you know, perhaps the a master of, of um, she's, she's very uh, clairvoyant, um, very, very psychic. Uh, she's the keeper of, of secrets, ancient wisdom she has access to. So this could be someone who could be uh, very manipulative. Um, you know, they could use their powers for good or for bad. And I feel like someone that was in someone's environment, um, perhaps the person that got distracted by that seven of swords, I was seeing like deceit, um, and, and that's trickery, that's gaslighting, that's that's a lot of like sneaky energy. And someone got duped. I feel like someone got played by, you know, uh, you know you're going to attract what you are, in other words. And, you know, maybe you thought you were in, um, you know, some sort of monogamous relationship and only to discover that someone was absolutely uh, creeping. You know, they had other you know, other parties and Tony, Tony, Tony is that's three people. So I, I'm getting a sense of a third party or some sort of entanglement or some sort of triangular situation here. So let's go ahead, cut this deck. See what's coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios. And I'm going to pull one more card for um, the overall energy. Okay, well, Spirit said no. These are the cards, so I'm not going to pull another card for that. I'm going to pull the card for the person you're attracting to you. Thank you, Spirit. It was like, no, no, you got your messages. I gave them to you. You're good. You're good to go. <laughs> so the bottom of the deck, we have synchronicity. So whoever this person is, this is another six. So this is that same person that wants your forgiveness. 
this person is having all kind of like downloads you know they could be seeing all kind of angel numbers hearing certain songs that remind them of you maybe they're just really thinking of you a lot maybe they're dreaming of you um this is someone i feel that like when they go to rest at night you're the last thought of each day the first thought of each um am you know so this is that person that was seeking your forgiveness, desiring your forgiveness, uh, and this is someone from your past. So they could be having a lot of like divine interventions at this moment that's kind of like showing them all of these signs like they need to take action or they need to make this right, make an amends, extend an olive branch, speak their truth. Um, but they are, you know, they're going to trust their intuition with this five and the six. This is 11. So I was getting a sense of like, and I saw 2020. So someone sees something very clearly. They have like crystal clear um, vision now, you know, something that could have been very you know, kind of like uh, hazy to them in the past is like it's crystal, crystal clear because I saw 2020 on the clock. So this 2020 breaks down to four. That's a divine masculine number. Um, this is also someone coming into the realization that they love you, coming into the realization that their heart chakra is open to you. Um, this is absolutely someone uh, that is feeling like you are their divine counterpart because this is 11. This is one half of 11, 11 and 11, 11 is the twin flame number so this is someone who could have been doing their work healing themselves and a lot of these things are coming into fruition this is someone that just wants to be with you exclusively maybe in the past they thought they wanted to be a player maybe in the past they were a player they were kind of flighty in and out non-committal and through you distancing yourself 21 21 on the clock that's three three that's six that's again this person now they're seeing something very clearly they have clarity because their 2020 vision is allowing them to see things for what it truly is and what is really becoming apparent is that whatever they chose over you it is not hitting the same way the connection they had with you was hitting they're realizing they sold themselves short what i see on the bottom of the deck is seven personal growth i told you someone was growing someone was healing maybe someone learned from watching you grow you mature you heal you elevate you ascend to your highest most beautiful version of yourself and that has been very impactful but also very inspiring and motivating for someone else to do their work so now there is this, you know, this download, you know, there's, there's these divine download synchronicities, you know, this is the first eye, you know, the six is associated with the first eye. So they're going to use discernment. Six is also telling me I'm getting like the six of swords, like someone is getting a lot of signs and synchronicities that they need to take action. They need to move. They need to move on. They need to move towards you. Um, they need to bust a dope move. Uh, but I'm also getting the seven. They're going to enact that that change they are going to take action because of the seven of chariots so someone is now balanced someone is now feeling very much in harmony in equilibrium with themselves uh, because they've done a lot of self-assessment self, self um, analysis and they see exactly what they need to do um, and so this is beautiful. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, who is this person that I beloved? Uh, how does this person that I uh, beloved Scorpios, how does this person, our Scorpios are attracting to them feel about Scorpio? May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit? So I had a card, I believe, flip over. And I did. And so we have effort. So wasn't I saying that there was a sense of like, you know, someone wasn't really reciprocating or appreciating you. And so this time around, they know it's like they have this awareness now, this knowing that they didn't make enough effort, you know, with this 13 also being your number uh, transformation. I was sensing that they have watched you transform. So there's a sense that they are keeping tabs on you. They're definitely staying in the loop you know um with this 37 timeout i was feeling like you all were in hermit mode someone's in hermit mode whether this is your energy or the person you're attracting it could always be reversed uh but there's a sense of someone who has been in hermit mode and not just to be isolated or to be anti-social it's really to work on themselves they seen the work you've done they see the transformation they see how hard you've been working how enlightened you are how strong you are and with this four that's the you know that same energy of like self-love you now love yourself you now will not sell yourself short you've taken that time out 
to heal, to reflect. And you've also taken accountability and onus, responsibility for the things that may not have happened in the way that you wanted, but you made sure to do your due diligence to heal you. Um, you had to take the initiative to heal yourself. You made that effort. You made that a priority. So this person feels that you have absolutely changed, transformed for the better. They also see you as someone who has a profound love for self. You're not selling yourself short. That's why this card came out to begin with, is that they see now that you love yourself. You feel emotionally fulfilled. Your cup runneth over for yourself. So you don't need anyone to come in to validate you uh, you know, at all because you love yourself enough to know your own worth. So this time out has taught you, um, you know, one is the magic number. This 37 breaks down to one. One is also a felicious number. So this makes you very attractive. You know, whoever this is, they're already and prepared to take action towards you. Um, and this is someone, uh, this is called Naked Eyes and it says always something there. To remind me so there's something in everything that could be why synchronicity came out for the person you're attracting because wherever they go like I said they could hear songs maybe they're seeing animal totems maybe they're bumping into the same angel numbers whatever it is it's always reminding them of you it's always reminding them of this connection of this partnership of this uh, twin flame union perhaps because I was getting a sense of like runner chaser so there is this sense that you know not only were you taking that time out to heal thyself so that you could learn to love thyself and now that you love yourself you know yourself it's also taught someone else to do the same thing and now they're ready to take action they may want to extend some sort of olive branch apologize for wasting your time or for taking advantage of you um, I see 26 26 on the clock and that's 8 8 that's 16 that's 7 so this is that person that wants to come towards you this is that person that is feeling more confident because they took the time out to find balance find equilibrium because the seven is associated with the chariot. Um, this is also someone, I feel like I said, that watches you. Uh, because if you look, there's eyes. So this person does keep tabs. They may be like... Um, you know, they're, they're learning as they're watching. So it's like whether you realize it or not, you're like a teacher um, and, and your student is watching you um, very, very diligently. They're watching you. And so we have right now the Eurythmics and this is called um, Would I Lie to You? Hmm. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios. Oh, wow. You got another message here. See that pride. Pride. So someone's having an ego death, it appears. That 10 shows that there's an ego death. Listen to the intuition. So those are the messages. So you have intuition there. What did I just say about teaching and learning? That's your number as well, 12. That's three. So that's really about someone like planning, preparing, strategizing how to come in. Perhaps how to apologize. Maybe what spirit is telling you is because we saw that intuition. Trust what you're feeling. You know, uh, don't just go by words. Words can be very empty. Words are meaningless without action. You know, so if you have somebody who's constantly you know, just using semantics and, 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 you know, uh, they just constantly, um, just telling you things, but you don't see it in their actions. Then that, that's not somebody that's really, uh, remorseful or someone that's being genuine, you know, it's not, that's not a genuine apology. Uh, so I feel with this, this, uh, 19 here, um, you may have taught someone something absolutely. Uh, and you taught them that you're not the one, two or the three. Um, they can go some, they can go on with all of that, that pride and ego, that shit don't work with you. Um, this, that's why it's at a 10 because, you know, sitting around and, and thinking your ish don't sting, thinking that you have nothing to correct, thinking that you're always right. It doesn't get you very far. Um, you're only stuck with yes, people around you, um, for as long as they could tolerate and you, this is a very lonely place to be just egotistical um, you know it's almost borderline narcissistic uh, to just always be functioning from a place of ego and power and not never allowing yourselves to be vulnerable never allowing that balance so I feel like someone has had some sort of ego death because I was picking up there was karma um, karmic debts being paid and that's why you know there's this abundance that's coming in when you do your work uh, you will be 
rewarded. Spirit will reward you. And it doesn't have to solely be material uh, possessions that are being rewarded. It could just be peace. It could be movements forward. It could be roadblocks being, you know, and barriers being um, removed. Um, there could be delays, you know, removed. But this is just a reward for you. Blessings and answered prayers. Uh, so someone's having an ego death. And in this ego death, they will move forward with a whole new mindset, with a whole new um, perspective or even perception of you because this is what's on the bottom of the deck now they're seeing you in that regal and royal um energy you know they're seeing you as someone who's absolutely um you know that divine divine feminine or divine masculine so we have uh five and six that's eleven that's two and four, that's six. So that is that person from the past. Six and 19, that's seven. So this is seven. So there will be movements forward. But also be mindful to trust your intuition. Because if someone has to tell you, would I lie to you? Um, and I just saw 30, 30 on the clock, that's six. So that's your first thought. So use discernment. Use your intuition. Uh, and don't get entangled in, like I said, the, the, the words, you know, the, the semantics, the words, um, you know, because people could talk all day. Some people are great gift of gabbers and they can convince you of anything. Those are con men. But don't get con. Don't get played. Don't get duped. Don't get gaslit. Um, and I don't think you will be. You know, I'm just speaking to those of you who need to hear that because some of you might just be so open that somebody returns that you may let your all of your guards down. And I feel like spirit is saying, you know, maintain your your um, maintain your your uh, your defense, like still deal with people with that knowingness that, you know, people are not always who you think they are. So 31, 31 on the clock, 4, 4, that's 8. So there's definitely, um, you know, a sense that you should really just move, move, move with. Let me get my thoughts together. Let me get my thoughts together. So with that eight, because I was seeing the eight of swords, you know, and that self-deception, you know, that's that's like self-imposed you know, mental anguish, you know, that's anxious energy, that's mental conflict, that's analysis paralysis. So spirit is saying like, trust your intuition, but don't overanalyze, don't, don't over, overly think about something. It's like, go with what you feel in your gut, in other words, you know, because somebody could be really slick with the word play you know what i'm talking about like they could be really slick and that's why i feel i feel spirit is constantly reminding you like you know trust your intuition use compassion when necessary 32 32 that's 5 5 that's 10 and um and i see war so maybe somebody is coming back uh with war with vengeance on their mind and that's why spirit showed me that eight of swords in my mind's eye that's why that six intuition and discernment kept showing up you know, so spirit is like, you know, maybe this person is still proud and maybe this is that type of person that wants to win at all costs. You know, maybe this is that type of person that is really like, you know, um, competitive. They have a, some sort of secret competition with you. Let's tap in. So what is the outcome for our beloved Scorpios may have a message of love and light. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? They gave me 45 billion cards. So we got 37 time out. So 37 time out, that's 10, that's 1. So Spirit is telling you, whoever this is, this is someone coming out of time out. I feel like this is someone that has absolutely had like that. You know, they had that moment of pause and they realized like, okay, I got to put my, I got to put this, this ego to the side. I got to drop the ego. And I need to come, I need to come correct is what I just heard. I see spirituality, 7-7, seven, seven, that's another double number. So this is someone who is also psychic. They're receiving downloads, transmissions, divine interventions. They've also been working on themselves. This is like personal growth, healing and happiness. This is that person that wants to communicate. I feel like they're finally, you know, 
feeling more confident to take action. You know, with that 14, that's five. That's the throat chakra. So that's someone that's really, really feeling more prepared to communicate. I feel like they had some sort of battle. You know, maybe they are battling it out with someone to leave. Um, you know, this could also be just up in their own subconscious, but five, and this is the six. So this is this is that twin flame, you know, perhaps run a chaser type of dynamic. I see 46 domestic harmony. So I'm, I'm getting a sense of like somebody is leaving a connection or leaving a relationship so that they can surrender to you. I feel like spirit is telling you to be receptive. You know, if you feel like this person has changed and made the necessary modifications or moderations within themselves and they match your fly and there's a likeness, you know, then it's safe. I'm feeling like it's safe to love this person. I'm feeling like it's safe to open your heart to this person. But I also feel strongly someone has to separate from another person. They have to leave because I get that there's some sort of war. You know, I'm feeling like somebody's warring with another person, like there's battles. And with this domestic harmony also at a 10, which is uh, 46, you know, that, that is telling me like there's, there's no peace wherever they are. And I feel like they feel you bring peace because this is an all yellow card. So this person just sees you as a ray of sunlight. They see you as having a very healing energy. And we got three piece and it says picture your body. So this person does, you know, they are very attracted to you. So we have, give me one moment. My daughter's calling me. All right, my bad. That was my daughter. So, you know, I had to answer the phone. But um, yeah, so this is three piece and this is called picture your body. So this is definitely someone who I feel, especially, you know, with this, one and uh you know the surrender like this is someone who could be self-pleasuring you know they could have a lot of passion for you lust fire and desire for you um whether female or male you know but with three piece i just feel like there's definitely a sense like someone could have been kind of like you know had a wandering eye or had many love suitors or had a lot of people that they were pursuing and uh they were not um committal at the time you know maybe this is someone that really wanted to take a break they didn't want to do anything uh you know and, and and take the connection on to a deeper level um and just this time apart has kind of revealed to them like what they actually want so let's tap in i'm gonna get some messages from moonology see what we got so it says take time to breathe out so that is absolutely what you know, that hermit mode is all about, you know, especially time out. Taking time out is, you know, meditating to get things straight, you know, contemplating on your next move, strategizing, planning, and preparing. So this is really saying, like, uh, someone has been taking the necessary time to just kind of feel those feels, you know, to be one with the self. That's being, you know grounded balanced and in alignment with the self so that's a very beautiful energy and maybe the through this time of meditating through this very uh contemplative time that's where uh that discovery of the emotion they were feeling has surfaced so what i see is you are good enough that sounds like self-love to me you know that that coming to that that grand epiphany you know, learning to love yourself, prioritize yourself, knowing that you are worthy, knowing that you're valuable. You know, someone could have earth in their chart. Perhaps um, there's someone with water in their chart. But this is like, you know, maybe with this three piece, I'm getting third party. I keep hearing entanglements, third party, you know, with three. So, you know, maybe this is how someone realized their worth and value, you know, by being done wrong by someone that they were fully committed to and realizing that, you know, I'm good enough. Even if this fool didn't see it, I'm, I am good enough. I am worthy. I know my worth. I know my value. And that's why there was, you know, that time to, to go within, you know, that time to go into that hermit mode, to self-reflect, to introspect, to take internal self audits, you know, to self-analyze, to self-assess, 
you know, and to heal more importantly. You know, this is about looking at the self. This isn't so much about looking at anyone else other than you and, and, and learning what, you know, not only why you may have um, gotten into that situation, but also, you know, what do you need to do to get out of it? You know, 39, 39 on the clock, that's 12, 12, that's three. So someone from the past, you know, was very deceptive, you know, with the six, I'm getting like, that's where you made the... You know, decision to move on. The Six of Swords is what I'm picking up. So let's tap in, beloveds. So you moved on. You moved away. I feel like there was justice also because I'm getting, you know, the justice card with that six. So there was definitely like karma. Someone paid for their, uh, you know, for their karmic debts. You could have paid for some karmic debts. But I also feel like this could have been someone who could have been a karmic or they got caught up in an entanglement with a karmic and so we have dmx playing right now this is called exodus so exodus is that is a um scripture in the bible so someone has been reading their basic instructions before leaving earth because i was picking up on like self-mastery uh seeking wise counsel healing growing maybe even someone seeking um advice from an elder advice from you know, perhaps a maternal, a paternal figure, a pastor, a preacher, a master teacher. Uh, but this is like really sitting at the feet of the elders and soaking up gain, getting jewels, gems from those who have um, that life experience. Um, I see on the bottom of the deck, it says your dreams need a practical decision or a practical plan. Pardon me. So someone didn't really plan out appropriately. They could have just jumped into something, thinking that maybe someone was a wish fulfillment, thinking that perhaps that entanglement that they got caught up in was going to lead to some sort of happiness. And I see right here, SOS being, and it says, um, just be good to me. Um, let me show you. Just be good to me. So someone was definitely thinking that they you know and the sos is like it's uh, a ship so it's like it's it's a special ship that seeks out like it's an emergency ship something to that degree when i reached researched for in a former reading so it's like this is someone who uh who definitely just just kind of dove before planning like they just dove into something didn't really map out the plan appropriately only to discover that wasn't the way, you know, they was being stubborn, bullheaded. This could be the reason why pride is here. You know, bulls are very hard headed. You know, there's a saying, you know, they acting like a bull in a china closet, you know. And so this is someone who was just very stubborn, very hard headed. They had to learn the hard way. And with, you know, this just be good to me. That's all you wanted was someone that was going to treat you right, do good by you. 42, 42, 6, 6, that's 12, that's 3. Something led to heartbreak. It led to pain, emotional loss. This is someone now who could also be trying to figure out how to rectify, how to rec reconcile. You know, they could be sending you some sort of, you know, um, some sort of emergency message. You know, maybe sending you a letter, you know, trying to communicate with you. So I got another bonus message. Bottom of the deck, we have nothing will come of the situation. See that? So putting time and energy into something that wasn't going to produce fruits. Someone definitely jumped the gun. So it says be bold and make the first move. And this is clarifying 61. So I feel this is what led to you all like moving away from someone or something that wasn't serving your highest good. You know, even though you were trying to hold on, even though you invested a lot, I feel like initially you moved on. 43, 43, that's 7, 7, that's 14, that's 5. So you moved on and you focused on healing yourself. You focused on growing and maturing. That's the hierophant. That's also the throat chakra. So that could be where you were honing your skills, gifts, and talents. And discovering that self-love. You know, discovering, uh, you know, what makes you happy. What makes your heart strings, um, you know, what pulls at your heart strings, you know. 
when you start prioritizing you and you focus on what you want and what you desire, um, there's a different type of, you know, joy that that brings. And with this, nothing comes of the situation. I feel like that's perhaps what you discovered, which is why you moved on, which is why you left. Because if you're trying to build with someone that's destroying, you're never going to make any progress. There's never going to be any progression of that relationship. That relationship is just going to remain where it is, stagnant and stuck. Because whatever isn't growing is dead. Four, 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 four. That's what you realize. That's the download you received. And that four, 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 four reduces to 16, which is seven. And this eight and eight reduces to 16, which is seven. That's the personal growth. That's the epiphany. That's the download you had. That's the divine intervention. Spirit stepped in. And when you learned that lesson, that's when you started to move on. This is the eight. Eight of wands I'm getting. Like taking action. Moving forward. I'm also getting the eight, the strength. Taking your power back. Standing your ground. I'm also getting the eight. Where you're setting new goals. Setting new intentions. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're co-creating with source now. You know? That eight is also you seeing that you have infinite possibilities out here. You don't have to be stuck on one outcome when there's infinite possibilities. You know? No man, no woman is an, you know, is an island. Like, you can't sit there and depend upon one person, you know, to, 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 um... I don't even want to use validate because it's beyond validation, but to to complete you, you know, and with nothing will come of this situation. I feel like that's why you're being rewarded, but I feel more importantly, this is like emotional fulfillment and an abundance of that because you put you first. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is abundance here for the overall energy? You may I have a message of love and light. Why is abundance here for the overall energy for my Scorpios? May I have a message of love. Thank you, Spirit. That jumped up. And it says it's time to take action. See that? And that's what I was getting, the eight of wands. I was saying with that, that's what you did. You took action. You wasn't going to sit there begging somebody for their attention or their time. You know, that eight was also giving me like you walking away, choosing you. The eight of cups, choosing yourself, walking away from something. Um is always a sign of self-love, especially if it's unhealthy, especially if it's toxic, you know. And we have in the bottom of the deck, emotions are running high. So whoever this person is, their emotions are running high because they feel like every time they turn around, there's another memory, thought. This is somebody that's just constantly up in their head thinking about you. And their intuition is telling them. You know, perhaps that they need to take action or that they need to express something they feel with just be good to me. They know all you desire is someone that's going to be good to you, love you right, treat you the way you deserve to be treated. You want a like-minded person. You want someone assertive, affectionate, attentive, communicative, loyal, faithful, trustworthy, honest. You want an alpha male. You want an alpha female. You want someone who's about their business, who means what they say and say what they mean. Someone that takes action. Someone that doesn't just talk because they have lips. You don't want anybody to just make promises and promises because it sounds right coming out of their mouth. But then they have no intention on fulfilling those promises. With emotions are running high, someone is finally connecting to their emotions. This emotional, you know, um, awareness or this emotional, I should say, intelligence that someone is finally working on is is making them feel even more motivated to come towards you they feel this is very like this is an urgent matter with sos it's like emergency you know that's like an emergency ship that goes to check the safety and well-being of others so this is someone that's like they're feeling like they they need to take action because i was getting the six of swords with that energy initially so i feel like someone is really feeling like they need to come in you know and i'm hearing right wrongs why is this 87 synchronicity here i can't take all of those cards beloved good lord maybe i can because there's a lot here they just gave me a chunk of cards should i take these let me just All right, I heard no. I heard it loud in my mind's eyes. So let me bang, bang, boogie my cards. 
All right, give it another shuffle. All right, Spirit of Love and Light. Let me get a message of love and light for my beautiful Scorpios. Why is this 87 synchronicity here for the person Scorpio is attracting to them? Why is 87 synchronicity here for the person Scorpio is attracting to them? Thank you. And we have on the bottom of the deck, your com uh, commitment is being tested. And then we have Alicia Keys. This is called A Woman's Worth. So we have on the bottom of the, uh, we have the card that flew out. It says bring love into the situation. So this person needed to learn your worth and value, just as I said, because I was getting a sense of you like putting so much into the relationship and getting very little in return. Lack of reciprocity. Someone didn't see your worth, your value. Someone didn't appreciate you. And so you walked away because you knew your own worth. This person now is learning, you know, because it says bring love into the situation so they were so far removed from their heart chakra and this is why I was picking up that they needed to um, learn to emote learn to be vulnerable they had to learn uh, emotional intelligence so perhaps they had taken the necessary time out to maybe speak to an elder or you know just work on themselves but whatever the case may be i feel this is someone who now sees your worth knows your worth knows your value they may see you as that divine feminine or that divine masculine um you know especially with the six here but this is also someone from your past the six of cups someone that could have taken you for granted someone that now has regrets uh but they want to bring love into the equation this is some sort of epiphany that they may have had um and i'm seeing we have water, we have fire, and we have air so far from what I can see. And then we have your commitment is being tested. So someone is being tested to see like, you know, do you really want this? Because if you really want it, you're going to have to show and prove. That's why effort is here. How they feel about you is they're ready and willing to take, you know, action. But more importantly, to make the effort. Um, and the effort is what? To show you that they love you. Because something within you has transformed. But I feel more importantly, it may have triggered them to take to change as well. Uh, which is why this 19 uh, pride is here. Because maybe they're finally, um, you know, having some sort of ego death. They're finally, um, you know, not sitting here and, and, and uh, you know, waiting, you know, for you to take, you know, action. You know, so this is like, you know, this commitment, someone feels like, you know, they want to commit to you, but spirit is testing them to see how bad do you want this? You know, so spirit, why is effort here? Why is effort here for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios? They have a message of love and light. Why is effort here for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios? They have a message of love and light. Why is effort here? They have a message of love and light, spirit. Why is effort here? Okay, that one. And we have a new start is coming. So it looks like this person is definitely seeing that you have something new that's taking place in your life. You have some sort of new start, new beginning. You're moving forward. And as you have been already. And it says uh, emotions are running high. So this person is really very emotional about you. They feel very emotional. And it says you are good enough. See that? So this person knows... They know that they didn't treat you the way you deserve, especially with a woman's worth playing right now by Alicia Keys. Oh, my God. I'm about to tear the whole world up. So with Alicia Keys, a woman's worth playing, this person didn't see your worth. They didn't see your worth. They didn't see your value. They didn't think you were good enough for them, which is why they could have been distracted by all those other options. You know, they may have thought you was very emotional you know, but now it's like roles are reversed because now their emotions are running high for you. Now they're feeling, you know, very much out of control. And with this new start, I feel like this is the new beginning of them. Like, you know, finally getting rid of that ego, the pride, the stubbornness, the hard headedness. Because now they see your worth. Now they know your value. They know what you bring to the table and they want to try again. I was picking up like they want to extend an olive branch, being as though that 19 reduces to 1. That's like an extension of an olive branch. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, why is 19 pride here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Why is 19 pride here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? We have a message of love and light. 
And we have L O Cool J around the way girl playing. And this is surrender to the divine. And remember, you also had surrender here. So someone needs to surrender to the divine. And that's literally, you know, when you are just stuck on being hard-headed and proud. You're not trusting that the divine is perhaps presenting certain things to you so that you can make the pos you know the necessary changes so that you can take you know action in a particular direction it's like so when someone is too egotistical and proud it's like it's hard to teach someone who thinks they know everything and i just saw 454 54 nine, nine, that's 18 that's nine again so that's the change nine is the highest number of change but nine is also that hermit sitting down and and observing oneself you know looking back in awareness and taking the necessary actions moving forward, you know, to, to you know, like, have that ego death. So we have uh, expect powerful change. And I, what did I just say about nine being the highest number of change? So this is definitely someone who is coming in uh, very matter of fact, but also very intentional. I just get a sense of intentional, um, someone being very intentional with this, this approach. And it says adjustments are required. So this is coming out for spirituality. So someone definitely had to find equilibrium and balance within themselves. And then we have uh, confidence is your key to success. So whoever this was, they need to, you know, be more brave. They need to brave their light they, to pick up the phone and call. Because remember, we saw forgiveness and it was the number six. Um, it was 96 and so that's 15, that's 6. So someone is trying to uh, muster up the strength and the courage, you know, so they're channeling that fire energy uh, so that they could communicate. You know, that fire is the lion, the lioness, uh, being, you know, being, um, being confident, you know, in themselves. And with surrender to the divine, this is what spirit is telling them to do. It's like this is what's, you know, their intuition is telling them to do this. They could be kind of wavering and we have erica badu window seat playing so i do feel this person is is watching you because when i think of a window you look out of a window and you can see what's going on 56 56 you have a twin flame that could be watching you why is 46 domestic harmony here for the outcome why is thank you spirit and it says a fiery climax approaches. So this could be, you know, that ending, an explosive ending, someone leaving or separating from a karmic, separating from someone that they could have been in a domestic partnership with, with a window seat. I think of someone like traveling, perhaps on a train, and I hear a train outside my window right now. Perhaps even traveling in a car, driving, like with a window seat, somebody's moving away i get a sense of someone moving away and with this fiery climax it's like it's explosive it's like it's it's done it's done done thin is what i'm hearing in my mind's eye it's done done thin someone's finally leaving someone's finally saying i'm gone i'm leaving i'm out we have a look at the bigger picture here and we're about to clarify 91 surrender so someone is absolutely looking at their lives um you know, and being honest, being realistic, being truthful for the very first time, I feel. Because what I'm getting is like, this is almost a sense of like divine timing and divine order. So in divine timing and in divine order, this someone's going to take their shot. I feel like it was a matter of like, you know, that someone needing to rid themselves of this pride because these numbers are interchanged so you got 91 and 19 and so this is what they needed to do they needed to make that change and that's why a powerful change you know is is uh, expect a powerful change here and so someone will eventually surrender because they are looking at the bigger picture they're looking at you know the They're looking at the, you know, the, 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 the end result, if you will. Why is 91 surrender here? Thank you, spirit. 
And it says prosperity lies ahead. And remember you had this abundance. So when you surrender, spirit is rewarding you for, you know, for taking the necessary time. You know, taking the necessary time to to let go, you know, to let the, the ego and all that has held someone back go. Like when you finally own who you are and release what you aren't, when you have that ego death in 59.59, what is that? 16.16.7, what is that? That's 15, yeah, 14, 14, that's 10. Yeah, so this is an ending. This is an ending. So completion of a cycle. When you surrender and let it fall where it may. And I'm hearing, when it all, all falls down. Made it all, all falls down. That's what I'm hearing. Like, let it fall. You know, just let it go. Because this is what's waiting for you on the other side. Prosperity, you know, lies ahead. Is saying that there's absolutely some sort of blessing that's awaiting you. Your hard work is paying off. You know, so only when you do the work do you get rewarded. A lot of people got it twisted. They just think when I do these Scorpio readings, I'm talking to the whole, you know, to the collective. But this is really for those who are doing the work. And Spirit knows. Spirit knows who's doing the work. And that's why these messages have been coming out the way they have. Because a lot of Scorpios have been doing, you know, their, their work. They've been healing. They've been growing. They've been maturing. They've been mastering themselves, their craft. And I'm watching um, Erica Badu, this song, A Window Seat, and it says Group Think. If you look there in that blue writing, it says Group Think. Um, but so maybe this is why someone was kind of like, you know, stuck. Because they were kind of like stuck in a train of thought. You know, the, and with this pride, it's like they had an ego death finally. Because this is, remember, this is the interchangeable um, number. You know, the ego um, or pride card was 19 and this one is 91. So it's like when the ego is released, when someone gets out of that ego, they can, there's prosperity ahead. Because it's like they've, they have, um... They've done that shadow work. And we have Sybil, and this is called Don't Make Me Over. So this could have been someone very stubborn, didn't want to change. With Don't Make Me Over, it's like you don't want anyone to change you. You like what you are. But this is someone that needed to change because what they were doing wasn't working for them. You know, that just simply wasn't working. So that's what we got with that. I hope that resonates with someone or all of you out there. So let's tap in. We're going to pull some messages from, what is this? Okay, so we got the star here. Star card, 17. That breaks down to 8. Remember, we got the 88 abundance. And I was feeling like, you know, you and your person were mirroring one another. This is prayers, petitions, hopes, dreams. This is healing thyself. This is co-creating with source. This is also, you know, finding that equilibrium, that balance. And we have the five of swords there. See this? So someone was definitely, you know, self-sabotaging because I was getting like the five of cups where someone definitely has regrets. And I also saw like the five of swords where somebody was, you know, really like trying to win at all costs, you know, and now they're looking back, realizing, recognizing that you are a star, you are a whole meal, snack. You know, you were like a wish fulfillment. We got the Queen of Swords here. You see that? So it's like now you are very guarded, you know, just as you should be. You have learned to protect your peace, your energy. You've learned to check for the red flags. You've learned to never let anyone insult your intelligence ever again in life. Or else that ass will get cut off, period, point blank. You've taken your power back. You're braving your light. I feel someone's also trying to muster up the strength and courage to return. You know, I see this Ace of Pentacles. You have blessings, rewards, recognition. There's abundance here. This is a new start, financial blessing. This could even be an offer of love, receiving something tangible. 
you know this could be even just you know success in a business success in your career this could be someone proposing to you you know mustering up the strength to propose and ask for your hand in marriage i was seeing that five the hierophant someone was definitely conflicted had a lot of conflict a lot of competitive energy you know, this is like da dun da dun. This is just a bunch of people, you know, twiggle dee, twiggle dumb type of energy. You know, blind leading the blind. When they had this here, the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is someone that you can pour into them and they could pour into you. This is an equal exchange of love, respect, honor. This is two people who speak the same love language, two people who are emotionally fulfilled within themselves. They're both bringing. 100% of themselves to the relationship, not 50%. You can't even pass a test with 50. 50 ain't getting you nowhere. You know what I'm talking about? This is two people coming in with their cup full and running over for themselves first and foremost. So this is beautiful energy. My right, spirit of love and light. And we got somebody stalking. What did I say? Somebody's watching. Definitely watching, and this is that person that could have been, you know, stuck here in this this dismal situation with a bunch of da dun da dun. All this conflict, all of these different people competing, and they step away and look at everyone and realize ain't none of them hitting on nothing. You know, looks deteriorate. Somebody could be fine as hell. They open their mouth and they dumb as a box of rocks. You know what I'm talking about? Like like. Slow as watch, watching the damn grass grow. Like, stop. Like, looks are not everything. I mean, it's it's important, but not as important, I feel, as, you know, a sense of, of, of intelligence, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. Like, those things are highly, highly important. So, we got the five of swords here. This is what you was dealing with. Dealing with a very deceptive energy. I said the five of swords, the seven of swords, and that's what I was talking about. Dealing with somebody that was just always taken. Didn't want to add on, just wanted to take. Take, take, take. That's all they did. And they was deceitful on top of that. They was dishonest on top of that. You couldn't trust the word that they said. And this is why you chose to focus on you. Because you was giving and giving to someone, self-sabotaging, overcompensating constantly, you know, pouring all of yourself into something for, with, for someone who was taking. They was just willing to take, you know. And then they would leave you in perpetual state of confusion constantly. He's taking five swords for himself and leaving you with the two, which is that perpetual conflict, mental conflict. Until one day you said, you know what? You made the first move and bolted yourself up out of there because you knew your worth and value. You established boundaries. You moved on with your life. And we have... Who is this? We have the moments and it says sexy mama. So now someone realizes, you know, how sexy you are, how beautiful you are. Maybe because you're very abundant at this time. There's some things working in your favor. You could be in the spotlight. A lot of things could be happening for you because you've, you know, planted your seeds in good faith. But it's time for someone to take action because someone take action because someone is very attracted to you. This is someone that could be watching you from a distance. This is someone that has that fire, that desire. And we got five of swords, so they do want to communicate. This could be someone who, honestly, um, I feel like this person could have been mentally conflicted in the past. You know, there could have been some stubbornness, even hard-headedness, because there's a ram. So you, you, you could have had someone who was just kind of like always trying to control the narrative. Or maybe they had a wandering eye, you know, because this is the new moon in Aries. And Aries are known to be very, uh, you know, confident males or confident females. They tend to want things to be done their way. You know, they move to the beat of their own drum, so to speak. You know, maybe they're a very attractive person, so they didn't particularly want to uh, commit to one person. So they could have been, you know, kind of like giving to multiple people, multiple suitors, you know, making empty promises, flighty, in and out, unreliable. 
So why is this 88 abundance and it's time to take action here for what's hidden in the end or for what's the overall energy? And we have the three of coins. So three is telling me absolutely someone had third party shenanigans going on. Maybe they met someone at their place of employment, at their job. With this, you know, sexy mama, someone definitely could have got caught up with some sort of, you know, um, work entanglement. But I feel with the eight here, karma definitely was served. So someone definitely had to uh, reap what they sowed is what I'm hearing. But I also feel like you focused on, you know, growing your wealth, your finances and your hard work. And effort are, efforts are going to pay off. You could have started a business, launched a business. Maybe you will be launching a business. And it will be very successful for you. I just feel like the seeds that you've sown in good faith are going to harvest tremendously. Someone's up in their head. And you know who? It's the person from your past. I'm about to pull the energy for the person that you're attracting to you. Remember, they had the 87 synchronicity. And they also had this... Uh, bring love into the situation. Someone is overwhelmed with regret, so much so that they're brought down to their knees. They could be literally dreaming of you, like I said earlier, with first thought when they wake up, last thought when they go to rest. Um, this is someone that absolutely is finds you irresistible, finds you attractive, finds you beautiful, finds you to be, you know, someone that's very sexy. Um, and they are really, you know, anguished, uh, as you can see here from monkey mind, from self-sabotage, uh, because they didn't want to allow themselves to emote or to be vulnerable. And spirit is saying, bring love into the situation because it's obviously what you feel, which is why you're sitting here, you know, feeling all overwhelmed and heavy hearted. So with this sexy mama, this person now is realizing um, just how much they love you, you know. So why is 87 synchronicity and bring love into the situation here? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. Remember, I mentioned the hermit and we have the king of wands. So this is someone who definitely was ruled by their phallus. Uh, this is that person that has their, the wandering eye. They get distracted very easily. They get distracted by sexy young things, sexy women, um, attractive women. You know, this is a very lustful type of energy. So they were, he's looking right at this three of coins. So as you could see here, you know, there's three people on that coin. And remember earlier, we had three something. It was a group that was playing three something. And I was kept hearing like entanglements and third parties and triangular situations. So someone was distracted. You could tell he's not uh, necessarily in, you know, settling for anything. He's looking for the excitement. He's looking, he's looking for the fun. And that's why spirit is telling this person, you need to bring love into you know the situation and stop being ruled by your phallus you know this staff that he's holding is very fallacious so this is someone that you know rules you know with their phallus so their phallus rules them with this hermit mode um i do feel there was someone kind of humbled you know through reflecting through uh taking that time out to heal themselves to to grow to reflect on the past or to even just you know self analyze um they're seeing you know how their lack of effort um and initiative is ultimately what led to the demise of the relationship because as I said that 13 represents a death you know that's the death card in traditional tarot that also breaks down to four so this is that person that is now also uh, realizing and, and acknowledging the love you know the love they have the love that they denied um, and we have uh, emotions are running high. So you wouldn't know that this is what's going on, but this is how this person's feeling. Their emotions are running high because they're finally allowing themselves to feel. And it says you are good enough. They didn't see your worth and value when they had all these options. They didn't see your worth and value when they were being distracted. And so now that they're taking the time out to reflect um, this is giving and bringing into awareness uh, exactly what they've had all along, um, which is you, beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. So why is this 13 effort? 
uh, emotions are running high and you are good enough here for how this person, our beloved Scorpios, is feeling about our beloved Scorpios may have a message. Wait, I said, why is the 13 effort and you are good enough and emotions are running high here for how this person, Scorpios, are attracting feels about our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. May have a message of love and light. May have a message of love and light. Oh, that flipped right back over. Thank you, spirit. See that? The five of swords. So this is a uh, part of me. Self-sabotage. See that? Trying to win at all costs. They didn't see your worth and value. And now their emotions are running high because they really are attracted to you. And they're discovering this. But they were self-sabotaging, trying to win at all costs. You know, and then you eventually turned your back because you knew your worth and value. You prayed to the Most High, asked for the strength to keep it pushing. This was someone that kept you in perpetual confusion, made empty promises. This is the person that could have been the culprit that, you know, caused emotional loss, heartbreak, pain, and agony. But instead of giving up, you transformed. Instead of giving up, you emerged from the ashes like the phoenix rising. You know, and we have Can't You See? So now this person can see you, you know, I feel like now this person can see you crystal clear because as you can see, you're not chasing after them. Neither one of these people from the third party that this individual had folks entangled in are chasing after them. And so all that ego and pride, guess what happens? It dies because this is like you, 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 uh, standing up for yourself and loving yourself is always, um, you know, that's always more attractive and with total, I feel like this was the end result. You know, we got total here. Can't you see? So this is definitely someone that now can see the errors in their, you know, in their uh, actions. You know, because this is saying like, you know, expect powerful change. And the change was they had an ego death. The change was they started to see themselves for what they truly were. Because with total... You was completely done. You de you you ended it. This is you know the 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 uh, death card is really like a painful ending, and so they completely sabotage this situation, and that's why this ten of wands is here. And remember, we had triumph. This looks like a very triumphant stance. You know, this is someone even though they've been carrying burdens, they've been carrying around a lot. It's like you're you're standing here very victorious because you realize you know that you can relieve yourself of these burdens by not accepting the bare minimums from anyone not even yourself and so there's some powerful changes 19 breaks down, i mean um 10 breaks down to one so this is you know moving forward this is action someone can see you very clearly now and there goes the death card i was just breaking down see that so you transform this person. That's why that teaching and learning was showing up as well. Because the 13 death is coming out to clarify, you know, what's um, hidden, which is the 19 pride and that expect powerful change. And we also have the two of swords. So whoever this was, that's that person being stuck in two minds, you know, the causing the confusion. You finally said, I'm making... I'm making the necessary changes to take care of me. And when you took care of you and cut your losses and created boundaries, that forced this person who was stuck in two minds to finally make a decision. Because now they realize how loyal you were to them and how disloyal they were to you. All of these revelations are coming to surface. That's why... This is the person begging for forgiveness. I was picking up on someone on their knees begging you, apologizing, being very remorseful for their actions. Why? Because they finally see. Because we got total saying, can't you see? And then we have this 19. That's the ego death. And then we also have this card here saying, expect powerful change. So someone is making the necessary changes, the necessary modifications and moderations to the self. So there's an apology with the spirituality. Someone could be like, you know, sending you telepathic or intuitive messages just to let you know that they are on their way in for, with this apology, on their way in. You know, we have adjustments are required and that's clarifying spirituality. And then we have the page of cups. So someone is really wanting to fix this connection. 
you know, and through communication, they may apologize. See that? I can't make this up. King of Swords. This is communication. Someone sees things very clearly. They see things now very clearly. They're no longer confused. You can see all the smoke has dissipated. And so this is someone now that wants to set the record straight, wants to clear the air. And this is also someone that wants to give to you. This is offering you, uh, you know, the stability, being very, um, offering security, stability. This is even like, in my opinion, because the way it's depicted here, uh, they want to give you half of what they have. So this is someone that's really like, you know, wanting to offer you something real, offer something tangible, make a generous offer. Because they now see something for what it truly is. Because remember, spirituality is here. 7, 7, 14, that's 5. So this is someone communicating to you, you know, that they want to have an equal exchange of give and take. They want to plant seeds, roots, a nucleus, have stability, security, all of the aforementioned. Establish that happy house and that happy spouse. This could be the clarity. You know, maybe even them recognizing that they were, you know, breadcrumbing you along in the past, giving you bare minimums, and now realizing they want to offer you love. They love you. So someone that is very reserved, they don't really emote, they don't really express how they feel uh, too tough, but they do want to tell you these things. And we have, um, let me see what's playing right now. All right, it looks like it's some sort of... Uh, I got to go to the next song because it's like an hour long play list. So we have Lonnie Liston. I love Lonnie Liston. It's jazz. He's a jazz artist. Uh, and this is called Astral Traveling. So what did I say about someone could be, you know, like telepathically or intuitively communicating with you? Well, this is someone that's perhaps visiting you uh, during dreams, you know, in the dream world. In the dream state, this is absolutely someone that is, uh, I feel this is someone who's, yeah, they, they are coming in hot and heavy and my nose is itching like crazy. So whenever my nose starts to tingling and itching, I know I'm on it. So this is someone that loves you. This is someone that does astral travel. They could be very psychic or intuitive. Like I said, they could communicate telepathically or intuitively or they could be visiting you in the dream world in the dream state maybe they're having lucid dreams about you because we have communication is what we are about to uh, clarify along with confidence is key to your success so maybe this person is very shy as i said earlier they're very reserved you know the king of cups isn't known to really openly express their feelings and their love and their emotions they're more so you know, very guarded in that regard, uh, but they do feel very deeply. They do have deep emotions. This is someone that loves you. This is someone that dreams of you. This is someone that absolutely communicates with you telepathically. And this is that past person. I feel like this is someone who sees you as like a twin flame or the yin to their yang, yang to their yin, their cosmic companion. This is someone that could also be a little intimidated by you. With confidence is your key to success. This person has a lot of passion. Why is um, 33? See that? And this could be why they're intimidated because they had a lot of options in the past and treated you like one of them. Maybe they walked away from you thinking the grass would be greener on the other side and it wasn't. And now you're very guarded. And that's why confidence is key. So they need to come in confidently. Uh, and express themselves. This is what's. This is the battle that's taking place, you know, behind the scenes. This is what's hidden. So someone that was definitely, you know, confused. And as you can see, he's like, you know, this is shallow waters. It's not that deep, you know. It's just right up to his what, you know. It's kind of shallow, you know. So he's really, you know, he may have gotten. Um, in a little too deep with these other options because it did cost them you but they are really afraid there's i feel intimidation you know that's why that that card was there because i was getting like intimidation and with all the sevens i just feel like they need to find the emotional equilibrium and balance they need to build up that courage that confidence to assertively come towards you because this is the energy that you're in very guarded 
because you're protecting your peace, your happiness, your 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 um and your your um your energy, you know, so you're not just allowing any old person, you know, from the past to return because your intuition is telling you to do such. So we have the Knight of Coins. So this Knight of Coins, we're about to clarify the 46th domestic harmony along with the fiery climax approaches. So there is, you know, perhaps something ending and I feel like, you know, it's taking its time because someone is really trying to get some things right. You know, they're trying to perhaps close out a cycle so that they can make a solid and tangible offer to you. Um, or there could be something working behind the scenes. And Spirit is saying it's going to take time because the Knight of Pentacles is all about strategy. It's all about, you know, planning ahead, planning a future. So someone is taking their time because they want to get something right. Someone wants to have that you know, that happy house, happy spouse with you. Someone wants to have that happily ever after, but they first need to sever the ties, release someone from the past, cut themselves free from someone that does not serve their highest good. Um, and I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, they are absolutely being very strategic in how they're going to approach you and how they're going to make this offer. So why is a uh, 46 domestic harmony fiery climax approaches here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? And then we're going to wrap it up. We have a message of love and life spirit. Why is this 46 domestic harmony and fiery climax approaches? Thank you, spirit. We got the star. So there is a wish fulfillment. Whoever this person is, this is someone that's going to make you very happy. Because with domestic harmony this is someone that is you know pretty much like the yin to your yang this is someone that is destined to be in your life it's written in the stars this is someone that you could have prayed for someone that could have prayed for you remember we saw eight manifestation in the very beginning of the reading and i just felt like all the hard work all that you've done you've learned how to co-create with source you've set your intention you may have manifested this person you know, but this is someone that is also going to see you as a wish fulfillment. I feel there could be success in your business or there could be some sort of recognition, some sort of reward for your hard work, your efforts, the seeds you've sown in the past. They're now harvesting, they're blossoming. And we have the two of cups. So this is definitely what spirit is saying. Your wish fulfillment is coming in because a fiery climax approaches. And it's approaching because someone is returning or someone is entering into your life you know and this is someone who is absolutely finds you attractive irresistible very beautiful sexy and a wish fulfillment they have not let you go at all they dream of you they think of you constantly and this is someone that speaks your love language this is someone that will give to you equally. They will be supportive. They will be attentive. They will be affectionate. They will be your partner. This will be your homie, your lover, your friend. This will be someone you could pray with, play with, and lay with. This is going to be someone that is going to make you emotionally satisfied, elated, overjoyed. And you them. This is like equal exchange that's the beautiful thing about the two of cups because this is a union these are divine counterparts you know and they're both presenting aces of cups to one another because they first learned how to fill those cups themselves you know you got to fill your own cup before you can give it to someone else you're going to give somebody an empty cup so this is the beautiful thing. These are the changes. They both have made these changes. Snakes are indicative of change because they shed their skin. So you both have evolved and transformed and ascended into your divine selves. Beautiful energy. Stars, wish fulfillment, miracles, blessings. And that's why prosperity lies ahead. And the surrender here, surrender to divine. When you surrender and give up the need to control the narrative or control the outcome and you allow the divine to do what the divine does, this is what he does. He brings blessings. So let's see. Why is 91 surrender? Prosperity lies ahead for the outcome. For my beautiful Scorpios, may I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. All right. So there was a bunch of messages. We got that page of cups here. So there is, in fact, an apology that is coming in. And this card bent 
it got bent so bad but look it's the three of staffs so someone is definitely strategizing planning and preparing because they have let their guard down spirit has told them what they need to do and it is to strategize plan and prepare this is also showing that you know something that has been um called in it's coming it's here because you can see this ship is docking so someone is tra um could be traveling to see you because i was getting like the six of swords earlier and now we got this you know with the boat you know and so we could see here that someone could be traveling to see you and look what we got these are some beautiful cards you got the nine of cups you got the ten of cups so this is no denying someone that feels that you are a wish fulfillment. And I feel you've been loving yourself. This is what self-love looks like. You're, you're very guarded. You know, the arms are crossed over the heart chakra, which is saying that you're not really open to loving anyone else because you're so focused on loving yourself. So this is like selfish loving me, myself, and I. You know, but someone sees you as a wish fulfillment because they've seen how you have grown. You know, you have healed from whatever traumas, from whatever pain and toxicity that you've endured, not only with them, but just in your life in general. It's like now you are here feeling so emotionally um, fulfilled and they see that you have this emotional intelligence and they want to offer you this they feel like you are absolutely everything that they desire even with the nine and the ten it's still the ten of cups so this person does feel like you bring domestic harmony you bring joy satisfaction happiness elation and they are planning how to come towards you because they see that you have been just you know kind of single you know you're just focused on you yourself and you you're loving on yourself treating yourself taking care of yourself and they're not sure if you're going to be open. But spirit is saying, look, surrender, be open, be receptive, you know, because there's something beautiful that's lying ahead. We still have more cards to clarify this. So we also have the two of staffs. So this is someone that was perhaps stuck at a fork in the road and they've taken the necessary time to really assess the situation. And what they're realizing is they want to come towards you because that's where their love that's where their passion, that's where the happiness is, that's where all of that resides. They see that they can have this Ten of Cups with you. This is happily ever after. This is that happy house, happy spouse energy I was saying. And this is someone offering you their cup of love, extending this to you. And this is someone watching you because I see that eye of Heru. So someone is definitely watching you and they want to apologize. This is someone that will offer their cup you see how he's extending his arms that's a very sure and intentional offer and he's doing this because he has realized there's there's a there's like self-realization here you know he even has his his um shield to the side because he's showing you the vulnerability whereas in you know former uh pictures you'll see that the shield is in the front to protect themselves and here we have the hierophant so they've learned they've learned to be more emotionally uh intelligent vulnerable expressive maybe they sought wise counsel but this is why they're coming in opened surrendering to this and being receptive to it they want spirit wants you to be receptive because i feel like someone has been doing the work all the cards that i mentioned came out so we have right here i manifest so we saw a manifestation card in the beginning of the reading and now you have I manifest here so you have manifested this some of you all could have been calling it in for this entire year some of you all could have been manifesting under you know the moon energy you know during those uh, synchronized times like 11 11 the 2222 this year and now it's materializing it's coming into fruition so this is beautiful so divine spirit give me some messages Thank you, Spirit. So we have deep dive. So a lot of you have done that work. Remember, we saw meditate, contemplate. So that's what you've done. You've take those time, took those times to really like rejuvenate your spirit, you know, purify, clean, clear, cleanse, you know, balance yourselves, ground yourselves. Um, and that allows for a lot of, of um, you know, a lot of the 
uh, energy, you know, that you that you may be harnessing or holding on to, it, it allows you an opportunity to identify it and to release it. So you're no longer carrying what doesn't serve your highest good. I also feel like spirit is urging you to be creative at this time and artistic. Tap into your divinity as that divine feminine and divine masculine because you do have beautiful gifts. You do have beautiful talents um, that are, you know, that are God-given, that are encoded in you. And those are your gifts to share with the world, with the collective. You know, we have false expectations appearing real. So someone was allowing or is allowing their fears uh, to to hinder them. And, you know, maybe this is your energy. Uh, maybe this was your energy in the past. But I feel like when someone conquers their fear or realizes that fear is nothing more than this um then they will take action and they will come forward so may i have another message from my beautiful scorpio spirit and then we're going to wrap it up I have another message from my beautiful scorpios i have spirit of love and light I have a message of love and light thank you spirit and we have receptive so this is answering exactly what i said with the surrender so be receptive because something beautiful is coming in be receptive. So that's acting from a space of enlightenment. So in order for you to be enlightened about something, you have to be balanced. You have to be in harmony. So you may need to meditate on something. Always trust your intuition, as I said. And we have freedom. No longer um, trapped. No more mind uckery. So someone is freeing themselves from, from a situation. That's what I was feeling uh, earlier. Like someone had to cut themselves free from a connection or a relationship that was hindering them. And we can see that here where there's a decision to move forward. Oh, no, that's the wrong card. Where's the two of wands? This is what I was showing you. The two of wands making a decision. You know, when you have two wands, that's like, those are like, that's, um, you know, that's duality. That's like being stuck in two minds or, you know, having to make a choice, having to make a decision. And I feel like there is absolutely a decision to choose you, to come towards you. Let me get another message. I'm going to pull five to correlate with what we have here. Thank you, Spirit. And we have destroy and rebuild. So there was absolutely a tower moment and you have rebuilt. And this is what has made you so attractive is because it's like you reinvented yourself. You've also, you know, emerged, as I said, as someone different. But you were trying to build with someone and they were destroying and whatever isn't growing is dead. So whoever you was with was taking advantage, taking your kindness for weakness, was also exploiting you. You were overcompensating and self-sabotaging and perhaps more invested in loving on someone who wasn't necessarily reciprocating. But now you know your worth and value and that's why you're rebuilding and that's why they see you now in this light as being very selfish, selfishly loving you. You know, this is you focusing on the self-love that spirit has encouraged you to do because in the past you were overcompensating in those relationships. So now you're single and you're always more attractive when you love yourself because self-love, like I said, is more attractive. So now you're going to have a lot of suitors. You're going to have a lot of interests, love interests. And even from your past, people will look back and see you shining and glowing and growing and they want to get a piece of that, that new and improved you. And uh, spirit is just saying, be wise, be mindful. So we have show forgiveness. It's for you. So spirit wants to wants you to always show forgiveness um, because that does represent um, the healing that you've done. When you can forgive someone that has hurt you, wronged you, that shows that you've actually absolutely have healed from, you know, whatever pain and trauma that you've endured in, in that circumstance. And so when you can forgive and not harbor that resentment and that animosity, that anger, that angst, that disdain towards that person that did you dirty, did you wrong, that shows that you have grown. And that's what spirit wants to see because you all are you know, you are chosen. I just feel strongly like Scorpios. A lot of you all are here for a purpose and for a reason. A lot of you all are, you know, the the ones in your family that have broken cycles, broken generational curses, 
all on your own with no assistance from anyone else, with no support from anyone else. It's like you literally picked yourselves up from the bootstraps um, and you are just now in this energy, in this light where you have evolved and you're unnoticeable. Like people cannot recognize you. You're un unrecognizable to a lot of people who are still stuck in those places where you left them. And so a lot of the eyes that are watching are watching in awe because they are kind of like, damn, how? Um, but there are some folks that are watching you that are also envious and jealous. You know, um, jealousy and envy are two things that I don't rock with uh, because that type of emotion is just projection to me. It's like you're projecting um that anger onto me because you feel I don't deserve to have what I have. You should have it. Um, or you feel like I have something you want, but you're too lazy to work for it. Or it's not happening for you in the way that you feel it should be. So now you're looking at me with these evil eyes and hoping something is, is, is cut short from me or blocked from me because of your unhappiness and dissatisfaction with your own circumstance. So when you have that type of energy around you, you have to make sure to do your due diligence to check your cipher, check your circle. Um, everybody that's smiling in your face, they could be definitely plotting and planning on how to take your place. So check for the smiles, check for the smirks, check for the fake smiles, the fake handshakes, the fake hugs, uh, because energy doesn't lie, you know. Um, but you also have people who admire you. Like they feel you are an earth angel. Why? Because they have also done the work. And it's very rare to find like minds in this space and time, in this day and time where so many people are living, you know, illusions and living in lies. They're, they're living these lies because they're trying to keep up with these social media uh, personalities. And so it's creating a lot of narcissism. It's creating a lot of mental illness in the world. And I feel like when you could stay grounded in, in, in this environment, it's almost rare to find somebody that's just on the same wavelength and frequency. And when you do find that it is it's something you want to hold on to and never let it go. And I feel like that's why you have uh, someone from your past that's really trying to work their way back to you because whoever this person is, it's like they are intrigued. They admire you. They respect you. They will respect you. They will love you. They will honor and appreciate you and value you. And they just want to be with you. I feel like this is someone that just wants to give to you, be supportive of you, you know, build and create that that nucleus, that family. So let's get this last message and then we're going to wrap it up. Let me get one more message for my beautiful Scorpios. What do you have for our beautiful Scorpios? And I hear the train going by. So I do feel this person is coming in. I feel this person is at a distance as well. And we have clean, clear cleanse. So that's what's happening right now. There's, there's a cleansing taking place. There's a purge. There's a release. And it says, enough of no love. I know my worth now. Bye. So that's what's happening. Someone's walking away from something or someone because now they know their worth. They know what they deserve. I feel some of you all, this was your sentiment when you chucked up the deuces towards someone that didn't appreciate and value you. And you did your due diligence to clean yourself. You know, to clean, clear, and cleanse yourself, to purge yourselves of the people, places, and things that no longer serve you. But this is a beautiful message, Scorpios. I absolutely feel like someone is coming in, and this person is coming to add on. They're not coming in to destroy. Whoever this is, they see that you've rebuilt, and they're coming in to add on. So don't even, I, I feel like that's why Spirit is saying, look, surrender. Because whoever this is that's coming in, they got marriage on the brain, commitment. This is someone that will give you something tangible, real. This is also someone that really is, you know, looking for, you know, a life partner. They're not looking for a plaything. This is somebody that's absolutely looking for someone that they could build a nucleus with. And we have, um, we have the soul cipher. So soul cipher. So this is a soulmate. And this is from the Soul Train Awards. So... This is the Soul Cipher that takes place on the Soul Train Awards. So the Soul Cipher, I feel like 
I was just talking about cipher. So this is someone that is in your cipher already. Someone I feel you're already familiar with. Someone you already know. Someone that you may have already, you know, planted seeds and roots with. And I kept getting that it was someone from your past. Because that six, like I said, is associated with the lovers and the six of cups. And so with those two cards, I feel like this is someone that's coming in. Uh, very apologetic because even with the six of cups that's like someone who chose another option in the past learned that it wasn't good for them and now they want to double on back and rectify you know justify or rectify their actions correct their actions reconcile or ask for um, forgiveness and I feel spirit is just saying look you know if you feel that this is a sincere apology if you feel that someone is coming in um, with with the good with good intentions um, it's okay. It's okay to let your guard down a little bit. It's okay to accept that apology. And if you so wish to accept that person back um, or into your life, it's up to you. The choice is yours. But this is a beautiful reading either way. I feel like you have some blessings and rewards and some sort of miracles are taking place. Something you've manifested is materializing. And I feel like whoever you taught karmic lessons to, they are learning. They've had to go through something karmic as well. Uh, and and you're just soaring. You're just, you're just about to like... Just continue to grow and, and, and evolve. Um, Spirit already is saying like all your hard work, it's paying off without a doubt. Um, and that's why I was saying like you, you, in order for this reading to, you know, resonate, you sh would have been doing a lot of healing, a lot of work um, in the interim, you know. So this is powerful. I thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, um, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, peace.